Hey Tiana, have you seen the RISP test results are out? Oh no, let me check. Oh sweet, I got an A. What did you get? I got a D. If only there was a way to improve my test results. Hi, I'm Junius. And I'm Deanna. We are second year medical students and we're part of the AI in Medicine Association. Today, we will be talking about how you can use technology to improve your studying and heck your grades. We know that med school can be a super competitive environment and sometimes the workload can be hard to keep up with. So today we're going to give you some advice on how to make studying easier using a program called Anki. Anki. But what is Anki? Anki is a flashcard program that uses space repetition, an evidence-based learning technique to help you retain information. You can create or download cards to review and based on how difficult you find the information, the program will repeat the cards after a specific interval. But Anki is only useful when you make good cards. How do you make good cards? Good question. There's a few things that you're going to want to avoid. Some great ways to make cards efficiently is to use add-ons. Some of our favourites are Image Occlusion Enhanced and Frozen Fields. Good cards will test you on one key piece of information. Try to avoid paragraphs and lists. For image occlusions, you want to try and use images with labels or tables so you can cover specific things. Another good tip is to include your lecturer's slides in your answers. And our best advice for making cards is to try not to make too many. If you do, you'll end up with way too many cards to review each day. Remember, making cards is part of the learning process. So it's best if you try and make it an active process as well. See if you can make a card without looking at your notes. For Anki to be a good study tool, you have to be consistent. You can't just expect to use it once and let the technology work for you. Ideally, you should complete all of your due cards to make the most of the space repetition algorithm. In reality, you might miss a couple of days and no worries if you do. You can keep yourself accountable by using the heat map add-on. Try challenging yourself to see if you can do it for 10 days in a row. Oh, yo. Um, did you see the test results are up? Oh, no. Oh, yo, I got an A plus. Yikes, I only got a C minus. Have you heard of Anki? So we hoped you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about technology and AI in medicine. Thanks for watching.